Hello Nikon users, my name is Vaughn. If you've already watched part one and two of my eight part series on NX Studio, this is part three, levels and curves. Now let's make some adjustments. So the first thing you need to know about levels and curves is, normally when you take a photo, your photos come out boring or bland. So you use levels and curves to add more contrast and improve the dynamic range and make the colors richer because uh, usually when you take the photo and you look on the LCD screen everything looks fine but when you get back to NX Studio and you uh, download the photo transfer the photo it looks dull or it's not bright and so what you do is you go into levels and curves and you can change the dynamic range also, you can do it. A quick fix for this is white balance. You can do this in white balance also, or you can use the brightness tools. So let's open levels and curves, and we will go over the points. So as you can see, uh, this is the current menu where you can change it back to the original value or record an adjustment. Let's click out of that. Oh, let me set that. Let's set that okay and so let's set everything back up let's set it back to original value okay okay all right so let's start this is the rgb settings where you can separate the channels uh red green and blue so if you want to adjust a certain channel you can set it the red channel the green channel or the blue channel so let's set it back to RGB when you make an adjustment to each channel it will change in the histogram so let's start with the black point so when you set the black point you also want to set the neutral and the white point to make sure that you have an even photo so let's hoover this over so what we want to do in the photo is find something that is black uh, so what you're doing is you're trying to find something that's black so you can let the system know what's the blackest thing on the photo. So let's set that as black. And as you can see, it's set a point. So with the black being set, what you can do is you can make anything in black. You can brighten it up. See how the photo brightens up? See how everything shifts to the right? Uh, that makes it brighter. Okay, next, we can go in and set the neutral point. So what we have to do is we have to find something that is neutral, something that is maybe gray. So as you can see, we have the eyedropper tool. And if you noticed on the channel chart, see how that changes when we go over certain colors? So I need to find something gray. Is that gray enough? Let's see if that's gray. No, that is not gray enough. See how it changed? It's got too much blue, so it changed the color level. So let's click that, no. And so we will change it back to the original value. There we go. We will start from, we know we have a black. So let's start from there and change that. Also, we can use this slider tool and see how that darkens. See how it changes at the bottom. Okay. So we'll bring this back a little bit. And like always, you can do this with the white balance and the brightness. In the basic edit palette, you can do the same thing right in here, but we're gonna do it with levels and curves. Uh, this is more advanced. This is uh, when you want to make your photo, give it more color. And this is what photographers use to uh, give their photos a little bit more flair, a little more pop. 
So let's uh, find something white. Her uh, shirt top is white. So there we go. See how that brightened the picture up. And so now let's do this. Just over so much. See how everything's shifting. See how that brightened it up. So if you ever need to reset the current channel, that's all you have to do, whatever channel. So we know we're on the white point, so that's gonna affect the white channel. So we can use the eyedropper tool, and as you can see, the eyedropper tool is at 221 for the white point, which means it's that uh, what's white right there is very bright. Uh, the water, that can be, let's see what happens with that. See, the water, it's not white, it's more blue. So that's the reason why that happened. So let's reset that. Set that, there we go. And let's go back in to find something that's white. This again, there we go, that brighten that up. And then we'll just do that curve. So next, what we can do also is uh, the photo has a lot of green in it. That's the reason why I picked it. See how it shows the green channel. So if you want to accent the green, and make everything green, make it more subtle or increase it. See how the green spiked. When you go towards 255. Okay. See how uh, the further you go down the curve, the, more, the darker it gets because you're going towards zero. So if you want to make your photo more dynamic and have a little bit more green in it, you can set that. So let's do the blue channel. See how I'm adjusting these individually? So if you want to add a little bit more green or put a little bit more blue, make something a little bit more blue depending on what the dominant color is. And then you can use the slider. To do that. Okay, dragging the white point in input slider to the left sets the pixel portion of the tonal range to the right. So dragging this to the right makes everything brighter or darker. If you want to uh, let the system figure out what the contrast is, you can hit auto contrast. And then the system will try to figure out what the contrast is for you. And down below is the gamma. This increases the brightness of the midtones. Uh, dragging it to the right makes the midtones darker. So let's drag it to the right. See how everything gets dark? See how the curve goes down? You drag it too far there. See how it goes to the right? Okay, so let's adjust the green. So we want to make the green a little brighter. So a little less subtle. So as you can see, adjusting the level and curves is endless. It's all depending on your preferences. And if you don't like the way it looks, you can always reset it. You can reset all the channels.
and start again so let's start so I know what I want now so what I want is for uh oh not that curve let's reset it again so let's do that I want it to go up this way I want a little brightness I want all that that way and then I know that my white point sorry this is just a white point white point this is the white point I want to use there we go now I want to adjust the green channel so uh, whenever you use these programs they're always trial and error so if you're not comfortable using uh, the levels and curves then just uh, use the uh, basic edit palette you finally upgrade to Lightroom you will understand how uh, your photos and the color tonal range and the dynamic range all work together to uh, give you a photo that pops please remember to hit that like button and to leave a comment saying I watched your video.